Good morning, guys. I wanted to walk through how we're going to do one of our assignments today, which is looking at our ecological footprint. And uh, for this, there's actually an awesome website that we're going to be using. It's called footprintcalculator.org. So when you get to this step, uh, once you've gotten your worksheet filled in and your name and date and block put on the top, then you're going to uh, start by clicking on this. It's going to ask you if you want to change your language. Um, and then uh, if you want to take the first step. So in this place, you're going to uh, click on this. And um, sometimes it'll have it'll ask if you want to sign up and put your email in. Other times it'll ask it at the end. Um, this time it looks like it's going to ask at the end. Now you're going to go through a list of questions. These are all designed to see how much, how many resources you use uh, as a family and as a, on a daily basis, uh, either you as an individual or you uh, and your family. So you can choose if you feel like you have a better understanding of how you personally use these things, then uh, just answer for yourself. If you would rather, and you know enough about uh, how your family uses different resources, then answer for that for them as well. Um, but so they're going to ask about food, about shelter, and about a few other uh, travel uh, resources. So here it says, how often do you eat animal-based products? Once again, if you eat them a lot or very rarely, and it kind of gives you a suggestion. Okay, if you're eating meat a few times a week, then maybe you would draw it to this point. You can also, for uh, a lot of these, click on improved accuracy. So in other words, if you want your numbers to be a little bit more accurate to you, you might say, well, I never eat pork. All right, but I do eat a lot of, oops, never eat pork, but I do eat a lot of chicken. All right, or uh, you can specialize it a little bit more for yourself. Then you're going to keep clicking through, same thing. Are you eating a lot of processed foods? In other words, things that are in packaging. Um, so like an example of this would be Pop-Tarts. Or are you eating mostly unprocessed foods, which would be uh, whole foods like, um, you know, are you eating fresh vegetables, fresh fruits? Um, same thing, you can click on this to get a little bit more specific. And then you're going to go through what type of house best describes you. I would say this throw, this question throws guys off a lot. Um, most of the time uh, in the United States, this is a global survey, as it says up here. Uh, most of the time, people are either in a freestanding running water home, a multi-story apartment, a duplex, or a condo. Um, most of us, uh, very luckily, do not live in a freestanding building that does not have running water. All right. Um, so click on whichever one you think best applies. If you get stuck on it, uh, click on your best guess and then maybe talk to your mom or dad tonight. With what material is your house constructed with? Same thing. Uh, this is a global survey. So uh, I would say go by what looks like your house is made of from the outside. Brick or concrete or wood. I would guess would be my two, uh, the two most common for St. Louis. Um, how many people live in your house? Same thing. Tell your family size. Size of your home. Um, this is something that you can talk to your mom or dad about, um, but this is going to give you a little bit of a better estimate about how uh, large your square footage is. You can also search for your address on the internet. Um, so that's a pretty easy thing uh, to do, and it'll give you a, a size estimate of one of the last times that your home might have been sold or on the market. And usually that has a square footage estimate. Um, how electric, uh, how energy efficient is your home? So maybe you have solar panels, maybe you don't. Um, is Most of us all have electricity in our home, once again, uh, one of the blessings of being in a, a first world country. And uh, so same thing, click on that. What percentage of your home's electricity comes from renewables? Um, if you know that your parents or that you have signed up uh, to get more renewable energy, so from wind or solar uh, or other sources, then you might say hi. If you uh, know that you don't get renewable energies, then it might be on the low side. For Missouri, most of us are going to be on the low side because unless you have a specific renewable resource uh, that's providing energy to your home, uh, most of us get our energy in Missouri from coal. Compared to the neighbors, how much trash do you generate? Uh, once again, you can do improved accuracy to really break it down, uh, or you can just kind of give a general figure. Um, say, the next thing is about transportation. So this is going to ask you about cars and other sorts of travel. Uh, depending on how you get to school, 
estimate the uh, miles per gallon, or sorry, estimate how many miles you travel. You can also type in the distance between your uh, house and school and get a better estimate if you want, or just kind of ballpark, get a ballpark figure. And then uh, how energy efficient, same thing. If you know the maker model of your uh, family's car, you can type that in. Um, so once again, Google will be a useful search for you on this. Um, do you travel by carpool, either with someone from school or when you go to hockey practice or whatever? How far do you travel on public transportation each week? Um, and there's detail. You can add other accuracy on each of these. Uh, how many hours do you fly each year? This is a pretty interesting one this year in the time of COVID. Uh, but just give an estimate for this. Once again, this is also a survey that can be used by parents. And so some of your parents might travel on a daily or weekly basis. Um, so this might be a figure that is more important for their ecological footprint. All right. And then you get to the end here and you're going to get to this data sheet. Um, so results part one. Results part two, how do you feel, explore data, and solutions. All right, what we're going to start with is working on these two. Uh, for these two uh, videos, I'm going to, or for these two sections, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, do a separate video for it. Uh, so once you've completed that, uh, pause here, don't exit out of this, and we're going to go ahead and look at this in a little bit more detail.